So the noble fight against the invisible enemy has inflicted a steep toll on the American workforce as we... Millions of Americans sacrificed their jobs in order to battle the virus and save the lives of our fellow citizens. We have a solemn duty to ensure these unemployed Americans regain their jobs and their livelihoods. Therefore, in order to protect American workers, I will be issuing a temporary suspension of immigration into the United States. You heard about that last night by pausing. <laughs> Immigration will help put unemployed Americans first in line for jobs as America reopens. So important. It would be wrong and unjust for Americans laid off by the virus to be replaced with new immigrant labor flown in from abroad. We must first take care of the American worker. Take care of the American worker. This pause will be in effect for 60 days after which the need for any extension or modification will be evaluated by myself and a group of people based on economic conditions at the time. This order will only apply to individuals seeking a permanent residency. In other words, those receiving green cards, big factor, will not apply to those entering. entering on a temporary basis. As we move forward, we'll examine what additional immigration-related measures should be put in place to protect U.S. workers. We want to protect our U.S. workers, and I think as we move forward, we will become more and more protective of them. This pause on new immigration will also help to conserve vital medical resources for American citizens. A short break from new immigration Depending on the time we're talking about, we'll protect the solvency of our health care system and provide relief to jobless Americans.